What's going on, guys? You got Kwasi here from Kwasi Animation Studio and Kwasi Media Network. Coming to you today, we're going to talk about actually linking weapons and anything else you want by way of using an empty and if you're using another program like Unreal or whatnot, they call it a socket or no. So we already have a weapon here. It's a little test weapon or whatnot because there's no shading on it. Um, what I'm going to do is underneath the weapon tab, I'm going to bring in an empty, right? So I'm just going to use a good old plain axis. And from the front view, I'm just going to move it closer to the hand. And we're going to go to the side here. Go back to the front. And what I'm trying, what I want to do is have this towards the center. So basically somewhere right about here. And the reason why I say that is just kind of find where you want it to be. Because this is what we're going to link. So I'm going to rename it to Weapon Socket. So I'm going to name it Weapon Socket. All right. Then we can come over here to the actual object constraints and I'm going to go child of I'm going to turn off scale because I don't want it to scale because it should already be scaled which I haven't done let's scale it all right and then I'm going to link it to her armature okay so on this here we know that it is the right hand so I'm going to click the right hand and hit inverse all right so anytime I move or adjust her that empty is going to follow okay now as for the weapon my bad as for the weapon let me just call this sword Call this sword. All right. So I want the sword to go up there. So I'm just gonna just uh, I'm gonna put the 3D cursor there. Click that, and then move it over there. So um, <clears throat> on local, and then I'll just make adjustments to get it where I want it to be or need to be. Okay. And I understand once I link it, it's gonna be linked to the uh, to the empty. Okay. So this is a very simple little thing you can do just to uh, bind weapons to hands or whatnot. So you don't have to keep going through the struggle of trying to animate it and it can just adjust it just on its own. All right. So with the same thing, again, we're going to make sure that the scale set and I'm going to go child of and we're going to make it a child of the actual empty. So I click the eyedropper click and it should already be set. So now when I go and uh, move uh, Commander Haraji. I mean, I'm sorry, Har yeah, Haraji. I hit that and now it moves along with it. Okay, so let's say we, we, we have an animation that we want to put on the character. So let's put the walk on and boom, there it is. Okay, so let's say I want to add on top. But I mean, even though the fist isn't closed, even though she's walking, now it is officially attached to the character. Now we know for a fact that if it's way back there like that, that that's too far back, right? So I would probably make an adjustment where this part of the animation is offset so that or the hand is offset like for instance i can come into the animation itself because clearly it's already set up to do and uh i can go into an offset let's just say let's go into offset so animate activate offset and then on the local rotation i will just change the rotation so that it doesn't interfere with the uh so it doesn't roll over to the leg. So now that hand is always in that position. So we deactivate it and go back to the beginning. And then when we play, now we see clearly that the hand, that the sword won't bleed through the leg. So I'm saying so it's just little things like that that you can do that can improve your animations and allow you to be able to uh, work with characters without having to do extra animation on trying to use a weapon or whatnot now you can also do where you can risk like if you're trying to draw the sword you would just take that um the weapon socket and then in the influence you would actually animate the influence so <laughs> excuse me so once you animate the influence then uh you can draw the sword a good example is one of the last uh shorts i did on the main channel called first warrior wyant and he draws his blade and it's the same thing i use here he draws his blade and he holds it so i link by way of the socket i um, animate the influence this way the only thing i'm animating is the actual empty instead of the weapon and then make adjustments to the animation if i need to by way of doing an offset so i hope that in some way fashion or form that helped you guys um and see you in the next one i guess i don't know why people say this so let me say this differently number love keep careful out there keep animating keep moving keep creating number love